so this is the video in continuation with our previous videos uh, where we are talking about central finance configuration and my personal recommendation would be when you watch the videos you should watch it in the sequence because that's how you will understand how the configuration flow happens uh, from uh, ec from cfin system perspective of course after this uh, once i complete cfin img i will move on to uh, slt and source system configurations as well so you have to refer till now we have 13 videos on configuration uh, you have a description of 11 videos already and then for two videos we included uh, profit center accounting cost estimate and uh, activity rates so this is the summary of 13 videos uh, today in video number 14 we will be covering uh, central payment which is very important in the key functionality and feature of central finance and also I'll talk about uh, the new functionality, uh, which is cross-system process control, which is only introduced in 1909 release. For central finance, the important part uh, to consider is that in CFIN, the activation happens, but at the same time, there are a lot of other configuration which happen in source system. So when you view this video, please ensure uh, in future, I will be releasing the video on uh, source system settings. So you bring together all those two pieces. So what's uh, central payment? So central payment is basically uh, an overview of functionality. It's already there dis described in one of another video on the channel. You can uh, feel free to view it. Uh, it, in, it means that when your vendor invoices and customer invoices are replicated from ECC system to CFIN system, you can decide to make the payment of those invoices from your central system. So in that case, if you have multiple ECC systems, you don't need to make payment from every different system. You can make payments and receive payment in the in one central system so which will help you to channelize and uh, simplify your uh, accounting processes as well as reporting processes so that's central payment i will not describe what central payment in detail here uh, of course there is another video which which is there so here the first step is the preparation so here preparation means there are some additional uh, setup which are done uh, like uh, logical system uh, is defined central finance target system mappings are complete and then you have also activated a business fun configuration set called fins underscore cfin underscore aif underscore cpa in transaction scpr 20 so you have to activate this uh, for cpa and cpa is single euro payment area mostly used in european region next is uh, activating central payment so this is important uh, area and uh, once you implement uh, OSS relevant OSS nodes uh, related to central payment, uh, there are uh, some nodes which need to be implemented in ECC side, some nodes need to be implemented on CFIN side. Once you implement, you will activate this configuration and here you can put the system uh, in the company codes. So what this setting means is you have to click on new entries and then you add your logical system. Let's, let's say system A client uh, AB, ABC, client one, client 100, and then you put your source company code, which is let's say 1000, and then you put target company code, which is mapped to, uh, one, to 1000. You don't just put any other company code because uh, it will read the mapping. So whatever you have used in mapping for company codes, even if it is 1000, put 1000. If it is 1000 in source is equal to 2000 in CFIN, you put that company code here. And then there are two other options which you need to activate. Uh, central payment with tax consistency check active and tax consistency check active. So you have to select the first one, uh, then only your central payment will be active. Otherwise, if you select the second one, it's only tax consistency check is active. So you will select the sec first one, central payment active, and then on the th next block, which is block indicator, you can select what option do you want to channelize. So for example, if the invoice is coming from source system to CFIN, whether it is free for payment, directly you make the payment or you still need to, you bring, you want to bring it as a block for payment and then you want to release it through some your internal processes in CFIN system. Mostly uh, you should select free for payment. That's a standard way of working. Uh, several settings to be done in source system. Those will be covered in source system configuration videos. And I will also talk about the master node for central payment. Uh, what what that note is, what are the nodes on CFIN side, what are the nodes on ECC side. We will talk about that as well in the uh, video where I will be covering the source system. So that's uh, central payment activation and once you do this, so anything you post on this combination of logical system and company code, 
uh, then that invoice will not be paid in the ECC system. It will be technically cleared and then you have to make it payment in uh, CFIN system. And same will happen for your receivables. You will not be able to book, uh, book uh, do cash application in ECC side. You have to do it on CFIN side. Now the next is cross system process control. So there again from theory perspective, yes, there is a detailed uh, description provided on the channel uh, in another video which is relevant only for CSPC, which means uh, when the payments are active in central system, for example, the invoice posted in ECC, replicated to CFIN, paid in CFIN, and now somebody changed the invoice in ECC, what will happen? So to control that, SAP came up with a functionality called cross system process control, that if the document is replicated and it has been cleared, or paid in the central system, it applies also to receivables, uh, then you should are not allowed to change that document in ECC system. So that's a kind of control which is built. Uh, what kind of control, what reversals are possible, what is not possible, it described in the another video of uh, CSPC. So here we talk about configuration. So the first is very basic. Uh, you need to set up RFC connection for a cross system process control. Your CFIN system should be able to talk to your uh, source system. Uh, in terms of RFC setup and the next is this is the key configuration where you configure remote systems so you go there you add your logical system uh, and you do add your RFC destination and then you click on the left hand side which says active process type and once you select that logical system it will uh, if you see at the lower part it will come as a header and under that you have to select uh, the process type as CPA which is central payment. So of course, this currently this control is built for central payment. So you select central payment here and save it. And once you did this, uh, then you will be able to use this uh, CSPC functionality for successfully. But of course, there are some limitations. There are features. That's why I'm recommending you to not forget to watch the video relevant to CSPC, which is very, very important. So that's about configurations of these two areas uh, and then in the next video, we will be talking about uh, handling of historical open items. When you activate central payment, how your historical open item will be treated. This is also another big story uh, because you have uh, hundred thousands of uh, open items like vendor invoices and customer invoices open. How do you want to manage those invoices? For example, you uh, activate central payment today, uh, let's say 1st September and then you, uh, you realize, okay, now that's fine. I activate for new invoices. It is fine any invoice being posted post September 1, then it will go, it will work fine. But what will happen to my 1000 invoices uh, or 10,000 invoices, which are open on uh, ECC side. So for that, there is a special process and program, uh, which we will be talking about in the next video, which is video number 15. And then you have now a lot of videos uh, available for uh, for 14 videos available for configuration and other than that there are around 43 videos available for uh, uh, central finance basic uh, knowledge and if you see here uh, the CSPC video which I was talking about is uh, is also available uh, which is video number 33 cross system process control in central payment and uh, it is important that you consider that that video as well before you view this particular video. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe the channel. In case you have any questions, do not forget to put it on the video comments. I would be happy to address that. But for sure, I'm, I'm happy that uh, people are liking the videos. I'm receiving a lot of comments and uh, feedback. Uh, thank you so much for liking the videos and I will keep sharing the knowledge uh, with you. Thank you so much for today and uh, keep learning and keep sharing knowledge. Thank you.